Oh, uh, there's there is the fine line right between talking shit and uh, and backing it up. Yeah. But you know you 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 did a great job of pissing people off in your career, and that is that plays a factor. That whatever you can do to get just them a little bit out of their comfort zone, a little bit out of their composure, like, and you you were really good at that. Yeah, you know you know I mean I hate that to be uh, you know the first thing people say about me, but you know. It was one. It was a, it, it was a thing, you know. It, yeah. it was w w what I did, and in my mind, <laughs> you know, where I come from, my background, you know, if we're gonna fight, then we're gonna fight, and right. and then it's all out war, you know, and, until it's all said and done. And if I can make you doubt yourself, if I can, you know, it's like at the weigh-ins. At the weigh-ins, that's the last time you're gonna get a chance to stand in front of your opponent mm -hmm. and send a message to him. You know what I mean? And if you get in his face. And you can just instill a little fear, puff your chest. That's why animals do it in the wild. Sure. You know what I mean? Puff your chest out, look intimidating, look as angry as you can, you know. And, and some fighters might just look at that and laugh and say, this ain't going to work on me. But some it does. Yeah. So, and, and, then, and then they don't fight to the best of their ability because they're slightly doubting themselves and they're not fully committing to the punch or the kick. And if they're not fully committing, they're not 100%. They're not fighting as well as they can be. And I'm winning that battle. You know, so yeah, you look like kind of a thug standing up there and pointing your finger and talking shit, but it's for a reason, you yeah, know. It works. Yeah, and, and it does. It's well, McGregor, McGregor's yeah. the, the best at it. You know, he yeah. gets people to fold. Look at Dustin Poirier; he didn't even show up in that first fight. It's true. Yeah, he and yeah, he. I mean, he, don't get me wrong; he was great as well. You know, it wasn't just the trash talk. <clears throat> no, he's great as well. I think the Nate Diaz fight didn't. It didn't work in that fight. Yeah, Nate doesn't give a fuck. Doesn't give a fuck. There yeah, you go. Doesn't e work exactly. It doesn't work. You talk shit at him, and he's like, "Fuck you." Yeah. And it, like, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't make him feel bad at all. Yeah, he enjoys yeah. it. Yeah, I think no, it exactly. makes him feel comforting. Yeah, you know, well, like, you know, oh, I'm used it's just to this. just another day at the office. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a thing like a lot of people would wish that fighters were respectful and just you know treated it well the martial arts way and bow to each other and that's great it is you know it's funny I was working out this morning and the gym manager uh, he said he said you know I said I feel like that side of things kind of you know it's killing the UFC and and, and I said, shut the fuck up and I'm like you know I nodded away and like you know I was respectful to the guy yeah. um, but. I, I, I see his point. I understand what he's saying, but it's entertainment and it gets people... That, that's another reason why I used to do it. You're trying to sell the fight. You know, oh, you, yeah. want, you, want, <coughs> you want every product you're involved with to be as popular as possible, whether it's a podcast, whether it's fighting, whether it's yeah. whatever it is. If no one's watching, no one gives a fuck, then you're not going to make much money. You're not going to get booked again. You're not going to be on the big cards. Yeah. You talk a little... I know from a consumer standpoint... If I'm watching a fight, I mean, look at that last week with uh, Fury and Wilder. Yeah. You know, I, I, was, I was eating out the palm of their hands. I mean, oh, yeah. it was an amazing fight. But, um, you know, it, it hypes it. It's great. It's, yeah. it's awesome to watch. I mean, yes, it, it, it is beautiful to see two fighters walk up there and bow and shake hands and all the rest of it. But it's also a little fucking boring, <laughs> if I'm honest. Like, when I'm working the Wayne shows, I'm like, give me something to talk about, right. please. You know, because I don't want to talk about your boring <laughs> last fight that went to a split decision when nothing really happened. But if you get in their face at the Wayne Great, we can pump it up a little bit. We can sell the fight. We can hype it up. Yeah, when they have these press conferences and no one's being mean at all, I mean, half the fun is talking yeah. shit. Yeah, no, absolutely. Do you yeah. know, I'm enjoying myself. I'm in my element up there. It's like, you know, the famous one with GSP when he was like, are you intoxicated? Yeah. You know, and it's like, <laughs> well, yeah, I am. Well, yeah, I am. I'm in Vegas. What do you want me to do? You know, you don't yeah. want to fight until the end of the year and right. it's January. Okay. Right. If we were fighting in two months, I wouldn't be intoxicated. <laughs> but right now I am, you know, so, yeah. Well, there's been some hilarious moments in, in press conferences. I mean, the the one, the giant one with the UFC where uh, Jeremy Stevens calls oh. out to Connor and yeah, Connor goes, who yeah. the fuck is that guy? <laughs> I mean, that this, was hilarious. That was great. It, it really day. was good. It, it, honestly, every time I see that, I do laugh. It was great. All he had to say. Yeah. All yeah. he had to who say the was, fuck oh. is that guy? <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. But I think he was actually actually serious. He might have been. Like, who the fuck is this guy but calling me out talking I'm shit? I'm sure he knows who Jeremy Stevens is. I don't know. You don't think so? Maybe. Maybe. Ma maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know everybody up there sometimes at press conferences. Yeah, you can't. You know what I mean? The UFC has more than 500 fighters on their roster. 